Hello, I am Ashley Simone, and this is Foodgasm. Guess what time it is? Cocktail time! My favorite. Some of you out there may have heard of a mint julep, but have you heard of a cocktail called the champagne julep? It's from the 1940s, which is my favorite decade. All right, we've got everything. We're going to get started. We've got our champagne, peach schnapps. We have some lovely sherry, bitters. This is a lemon simple syrup, and our fresh ingredients, lime and mint. First, we're going to slice the limes. Let's get a couple slices. I have two drinks here, so two nice size pieces. I'm going to slice this so I'm ready to go, so they are perfectly fit to go on that glass. We are going to caramelize them on the grill. Time to prepare the drink. Oh, I'm so excited. First, you need some crushed ice, and then since I have a friend, I'm going to make two glasses. There we go. Just a little bit, about halfway. Great. Then we're going to do a little bit of some bitters. There we go. Just a dash or two. This is for color and for flavor. And one or two dashes here. Great. And some fresh mint. You don't have to chop it up. Just break it up in your hands. There we go. Sort of like mint julep as if it's our champagne julep. Now we're gonna have equal parts of the sherry, the peach schnapps, and then fill it up with the champagne and a little bit of the simple syrup. That depends on how sweet you want it. Mmm, love sherry. There we go. This is lemon simple syrup. Simple syrup is simple to make. It is equal parts water and sugar. And then for the lemon, I put just a little bit of lemon juice in there. You could also put the lemon rind. This just helps sweeten your drink. Peach schnapps. Mmm, this is looking good. There we go. And it's time for popping the cork. Make sure you're very careful when popping the cork. Do not try this at home. <laughs> careful. Make sure you have your hand firmly on. Oh, there we go. Excellent pop. And fill the rest of the glass with your champagne. There, that looks beautiful. And pour slowly so it doesn't create a lava water fountain all over. There we go. Lots of bubbles and a little bit more. Oh, this is looking great. It smells so wonderful. Okay, we're just about ready. Okay, we have our straws. And for the last part is our garnish. Maybe they're hot, so let those sit for a moment. All right, I think we're ready. This gives it a lovely little flair, little color, and a nice little taste to it. That is fantastic. This is Ashley Simone, and this has been another Foogasm. Mm. I hope you enjoyed yourself just as much as I have. And remember, food is love. Mm.